All right, here's another uh, homemade uh, kitchen countertop battery that uh, I was very, very surprised it worked. And I'd be interested to see hear some of the comments that people make about the chemistry involved and why this worked. But uh, I've been experimenting with all different kinds of electrodes and electrolytes uh, to see what I could get that would recharge. And I discovered that uh, quite a while back you could use stainless steel, the magnetic stainless steel, and it worked with the um, lead, uh, lead oxide, the lethargic stuff. And then uh, the last video I showed, I was using just Epsom salts with uh, the carbon and the uh, yeah, manganese dioxide out of a uh, standard carbon zinc battery. And today I thought just for kicks, I just wonder what would happen if I just put Epsom salts and tap water and a couple of these magnetic stainless steel scrubbers that you get at the 99 cent store in a dish of water and slapped it with six volts if it would charge up and it did and there it is running this thing here let's crank it up so you can see it bright that's that little uh, blocking oscillator. Look at the voltage dropping down though as I load that thing up. It's pulling juice out of it. It's actually coming out of that that uh, battery or capacitor, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm going to crank this down and put this back on the blink thing here. Look at the voltage go back up again. This is the rebound. And there's a, a thread going on right now. Um, uh, Mr. Clean came up with a toroid circuit. I um, can't remember the gentleman's name that first came up with it, but he showed his voltage going up and down uh, while the thing was disconnected from the battery and uh, not being driven, supposedly. Uh, we think now it was just an anomaly of some sort, but it was an interesting experiment watching the voltage go up and down on a voltmeter. Uh, like this. So let me crank this up again. I'll show you, show you this thing happen again here. Okay, that's on full bright. There goes the voltage on the battery again, the cell. And that's just a stainless steel scrubber in tap water with a high concentration of this um, magnesium sulfate, Epsom salt. And uh, you just get it at the store, and this was a dollar, and that was a dollar. And there goes the voltage on the cell again. There's the blocking oscillator pinning. Let me crank her down again. You can't really see this because of the light, but she's 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 on. Blinking pretty good. And there goes the voltage on the cell back up again. And I thought that was kind of an interesting phenomena that uh, um, this rebound effect. It's not going to go back to where it was, obviously, but it, it rebounds. Now, let me throw this on the little motor here. And you can see that uh, because of the surface area, this actually runs this little motor. Now, it won't run a regular motor, but it'll run this motor here, which uh, I thought was kind of interesting. So I'll show that here. There goes that little motor there. There goes voltage on the cell again, dropping off. And that's as this motor revs up. But there's quite a quite a quite a good punch out of that thing because of the surface area. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you me putting a charge back on this thing. Okay, there's there's the the disconnected now, and the the cell is rebounding. I'm going to zap this with a little more juice here, and then we're going to see this go back up again. Let me change the scale. Now this should read about uh, four or five. Let's see it's going up now. This is on the cell. And as soon as I disconnect the battery, of course, that's going to drop back down. This battery has been used quite a bit today, so it doesn't have a lot of a lot of juice left in it. Okay, let's see where we are here. See, it's back up to over a volt again. 
this is cool. Okay, now this motor is going to come on real fast when I hook this back up again here. Just to show you that it's got power in that cell. And there's the, voltage lo the loaded voltage on the cell now dropping off with this under load, the load, the motor. So you can see that the energy actually went back into this thing. Um, disconnect it here, watch it rebound. So I, I don't know what to say, guys. Some of the guys, the chemistry guys that know what the chemistry is, uh, this is a uh, stainless steel that um, probably has nickel in it, but very little chromium. And it's probably a, a, a ferrous type of reaction going on there. It might be something like a nickel iron kind of battery. I don't know, but uh, it does form up. And I've even uh, run it the other way. I changed the contacts the other way around and then recharge it up the other way. And sure enough, it recharged the other way. And these are just these uh, stainless steel, they call them stainless steel scouring pads, but they don't m have much chromium in it. There's mostly, I think, nickel and uh, just steel. And, uh, there's the cell back up again. Let me hook it up to this oscillator here. It's blocking oscillator. Penny. Let's see her come on pretty bright. There she is. There's the loaded loaded voltage on the penny oscillator, the LED oscillator. So anyway, that's just my little uh, kitchen countertop uh, homemade battery, uh, rechargeable battery experiment. Uh, using just plain old uh, stainless steel kitchen scrubbers in tap water with Epsom salts. And uh, it's another thing that worked. Thanks for watching.